Honestly, Nigerians, you have to tell us how you do it because we are confused. This particular one, the case of this girl I'm about to tell you guys, is, is, is not only shocking, but it is making me confused because I don't understand and I cannot explain how it happened. You understand? This young Nigerian girl you're looking at here, her name is Dorothy Tillman. Dorothy Jean Tillman. You understand? She's a Nigerian girl based in Chicago, I think. Chicago in America. What did this girl don't do? The entire world is just looking like this. But the problem is because she's a Nigerian and because she's a black person, this thing is not trendy. Just imagine that it was a white person or a white child or somebody not from Nigeria that did this. Just close your eyes and imagine a Ghanaian doing what this, guy, this little girl has done. We will not drink water. We will not be able to rest because the entire social media will be crowded. But now that it's a Nigerian, we are not seeing it. If I didn't dig deep into my research, I wouldn't have even discovered this girl. I'm telling you, my guys, that's why I'm encouraging you to watch this video. Please watch and share it. Share it to your friends. Share it to your family members so that they will see the miraculous things Nigerians are doing in this world. People don't want to say these kind of things about Nigerians because... They love saying that Yahoo things. They love showing that, oh, these Nigerians have done this, Yahoo, these Nigerians have done this. But when Nigerians achieve excellent results like this one, they don't show it. They don't celebrate it. They don't talk about it. It doesn't try. Big media platforms will not show it. But what do we do? We keep talking. We keep showing. We keep showing. So it's in your hands as Nigerians, as people who believe in this vision, people who believe in this platform, to share this kind of video so that... Uh, the world can get to discover that Nigerians are doing these amazing things. So, this girl, Dorothy Jean Tillman, she's a Nigerian based in America. And she has just become the youngest person in the entire world to have a PhD. The youngest person in the entire world to get a PhD is a Nigerian. Youngest. <laughs> and what is her age? At what age? 17 years old Nigerian girl, 17 years old. When did she start going to school? When her mama born her? When? 17 years old girl with PhD, not just any, I mean PhD, it's not like a doctor of medicine that you just go and study and become a doctor. No, she is a certified academic doctor with a PhD at 17 years old. Guys, if this is not a boss your brain, I don't know it. I don't know how else I'm going to say for you to ginger your brain because this is absolutely fantabulous. This is unbelievable. Yes, at, at 17 years old, she's not yet, she's still a minor, basically. Because at 17, she's not yet eligible for dating, eligible for going out there to do things. She doesn't, she is still a minor. As in she's still under the care of her mother and father. She doesn't have her own life yet. But she has a PhD. How did these Nigerian parents do it? How do they raise their children? Please give us more secrets. How do Nigerians raise their children in America? How are these Nigerian immigrants? How are you people doing this thing? Not just not they use. To be honest, this one no normal at all. This one not jazz, original jazz. Because you know, if you explain this one, give anybody understand. At 17 years old, you have a PhD, my dear. Dorothy, I take one. You need to have it. We need to you need to open a podcast, Dorothy, and a podcast and tell us how you do it. It doesn't make sense to any of it doesn't make sense. You're 17 years old. You are supposed to be uh, learning how to do makeup, learning how to play around with your young colleague friends. You are backing PhD, PhD with 30 years old people don't have. It's shocking, guys. We cannot stay quiet when these kind of things are happening. But I try to do a little bit of background research. I try to study a bit, check how she did it, and you know, when she started going to school. And I found some shocking information that I said, no, it's important I add to the video so that you guys know and you guys can trust the source and say, okay, this guy, you are making real sense. So at the age of 10 years old, this girl went to college. <laughs> oh, about Nigeria. 10 years old, Dorothy was in college. As in, 
10 years old, eh, many children are still in primary school. 10 years old, they are still struggling to get out of primary school before they can go to her secondary school, before they can go to her... If you don't know what is college, for those of us in Africa, eh, college is like high school or like diploma. You know, college is the where you leave college before you go to the university, before you get your degree. You understand? From college, you get a degree. After college, you understand? So college can be like diploma in something, you understand? So at 10 years, this girl, they college. And at 14 years old, 14 years, this girl had a master's degree. Yeah, 14 years, she had a master's degree. Normally in Africa, 14 years is the time where many children are going to secondary school. They are in secondary school. They are not even in high school yet normally at that age of 14 but that is when dorothy had her master's degree so you begin to wonder how did she do it how did the parents raise her and two years after that she is getting a phd phd at 17 years old if now white man do this thing, eh, it will trend. It's supposed to trend. But now that he's a Nigerian, now that he's a black African for that matter, if Africans don't celebrate their own, it will be there like that. Nobody will celebrate it. The world will not even know. The youngest PhD holder in the world, the youngest person to ever back a PhD, 17 years old, Dorothy Jean Tillman from Nigeria in Chicago, America. This is what Nigerians need to know. This is what Africans need to know. The world needs to know. And that's how Nigerians need to be known. Not as Yahoo people and all those negative things. It is what it is. Your boy Ajo Magzi on this one again. And I'm happy to share this amazing information with you guys. Thank you for watching. Come back anytime you're free. Because there's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for you all. God bless you all. Cheers.